What's up guys, my name is Keith and I went to the Aria Buffet recently. I went on a Monday night, had this little two for one coupon from my Vegas slots. It's a free slot machine game you can play on your iPhone, Android, pretty much any phone and on Facebook. So it was $45 for two people and tip five bucks, like 25 bucks each person. You really can't beat that for, you know, buffet on a strip. I mean, you can beat it, but 25 bucks is a pretty good price. So. I'm gonna show you some of the food right now. This is the walkthrough. So this is the Aria Buffet and I'm going to the beginning. Pretty much where you start, there's some bread for the kids, you know, who don't really eat much food. And over here, we're gonna have some corn. I'm gonna zoom in on this. There's the corn, green beans. Honestly, this looks like Christmas. I mean, sorry, Thanksgiving. Cream corn, mashed potatoes, broccoli with some cheese. There's some chicken wings, rustic potatoes, and going on to the meats. There's sausages, spicy sausages. There's pork belly, pastrami style, brisket, some big piece of meat that I don't know there's the fixins some chicken for you roasted vegetables the onions actually look really good two other types of sausages and yeah there's a lot of vegetables right there if you like vegetables you'll enjoy this and we're gonna go on to the next place which is the Mexican food I don't really get Mexican food at you know, buffets because I live in Los Angeles. We're spoiled with a lot of great Mexican food. But if you want some good Mexican food, there's some here at the Aria. There's some chicken tandoori and the Indian food. There's chickpea. I think well, most of it is um, vegetarian. There is some lamb, naan. I love naan, but I don't want to get too full. Hummus other fixings and also for the Mexican food it's right there the pico de gallo cheese and other stuff we got pizzas over here margarita and mushroom with goat cheese and the pepperoni I'm not really a pepperoni guy but there's some spaghetti and meatballs over here some mashed potatoes and meat spinach artichoke dip more cheese lots of cheese actually big cubes I didn't bring my anti-diarrhea pills, so I did not eat that cheese. I did not get the deli ham or meats either, but if you like that, there's that for you. This is a fancy sc scalloped potato. And need to order pasta. That's always a good idea for anyone that loves pasta. This is the fix-ins for your Asian soups, pho or ramen. And there they are. You get to choose whichever, and there's the broths. Here's your Asian food. Fried rice, noodles. Um, I don't really eat Chinese food in buffets, but if you want, it's here for you. Sesame balls, some soups. There's chicken adobo, Filipino style. Pretty cool, because I'm Filipino. Over here's all the salads and fruit. I did not know there's chimichurri sauce here, mozzarella, salad. They have wedge salad, kimchi with spicy beef. Respect. Got clam chowder, chicken noodle soup, staples. Uh, fruit, watermelon, strawberry lime juice, and fresh squeezed lemonade with the coconut. That's nice, they have in the little, little cups for you. More salad. Some pasta, roasted tomatoes, seafood pasta, oven roasted salmon. One lonely piece. Last time I got it, there was no, you know, veggies or anything, but oh, there they are. Coming in fresh. Boom. 
Some Texas shrimp with grits and chorizo. You can see there is a poke station here. They got guac, they got bean sprouts, they got shrimp, they got tuna. Yeah, that's the poke station. Got some sushi here. Crab, mussels, cocktail sauce. They have made to order oysters and it has oyster Rockefeller. This clams with potatoes and sausage should be pretty good because as you can see it's empty. It's been like that ever since I got here. And crab legs and mussels Diablo. I'm guessing it's spicy. Some muffins here, some syrup I'm guessing, some toppings for ice cream, bread pudding, bananas foster, some cinnamon rolls I see, peach cobbler, some assorted cookies. So right over here is the chicken parm. Got some corn from the Indian section. Mac and cheese, potatoes, mashed potatoes obviously. Oven roasted broccoli. That red piece says beef steamship, I think. I forgot what it was. There's brisket under that and under that is pork belly pastrami style. This is a beef thing with mashed potatoes and a potato. Alright, cool. Here, but it's expected because it's in the Indian section, so it's good. I'm gonna try this chicken parm. Mm. Chicken parm is bomb. Check out the cheese. I'm gonna try the meat that's not on the carvery. And there's mashed potatoes under it. Mm. Super tender, really good. There's a good chip. Yeah, it's a potato chip. I'm gonna try these meats now. I'm not sure what the spaceship is. Honestly, it doesn't taste too crazy. It gets good, but nothing too like the wall. Here's brisket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, really tender, really flavorful. Got a little rind, as you can see. There's a little smoke ring going on. And then there's pork belly pastrami style. To be honest, check this out. 
The piece he did give me, I don't know if it's a real super tender or if it's a lot of fat, but yeah, I'll try it out. So it tastes really Filipino, like lechon. It's really good, but it just tastes like I'm at a family party. It's not a bad thing, but it's, I don't know. There's a lot of fat content in this. If you're a type that you could just eat fat and not, you know, get fat, I highly recommend it. It's really tasty. I noticed there's chicken adobo here, which is another Filipino dish, and it really makes me happy when I see Filipino things on Las Vegas buffets, because growing up, I just thought we're, you know, a minority, and we're just an Asian that doesn't really get much attention. But yeah, it's cool to see our things in Las Vegas buffets. So I got the white pizza with mushrooms. There's a Rockefeller oyster, a couple crab legs, shrimp and grits, sushi with the forbidden rice, and some salmon, and of course some butter. All right, let's see how this is. Quick pizza bite. Good pizza. Not comparable, but it's good pizza. I'm gonna try the shrimp and grits. This is what Derek recommended. He said seafood's not his thing, but he enjoys these shrimp and grits at the Aria Buffet, so. Wow. Wow. Chorizo's really good. The grits is a good vessel to, you know, like, take down the flavor of things, but not hide it. The chorizo. Enjoy it. Just a regular just a regular crab roll, avocado. Tastes exactly how you would think. Not bad, not good. Kinda good to me, I like it. Rockefeller oyster. I'll be honest, I don't know what it is. Mm. I like there's spinach. Oyster is really good. I like oysters. Yummy. Yeah. These are breaded salmon. Let's see. To be honest, doesn't seem that tender after cutting it, but meh. It's okay. I'm not gonna eat the rest of it though. Of course, with your crab legs, you eat them with butter. So I don't even know if I like crab legs, but I like crab legs with butter. Usually, what I do is I start at the wherever is the smallest. You just like keep unhinging it, and if that'll happen. It's okay. But after that, you just snap this in half, and you could fail like I just did. But the most important part is, of course, the big guy right here. So you take that out. Let's hope. Oh my god. I'm not having a good day. But maybe if you're more gentle and you really care more about it, you could do a crab leg, crack a crack. Mm, it's good. Try with this one. What happened? Yeah. I don't know if the butter's been there for a while, but it's not the best butter. Crab legs are really good though. I don't think I need the butter. Alright, on to the next plate. This is a poke bowl Sophia got. It has tuna, cucumbers, fur cocky, white rice, green onion, red onion, and seaweed salad. Cool. Your sauce. Let me know how it is. Tasty. So I got more crab legs. I'm gonna put some lemon on it instead of the butter. Another Rockefeller oyster. Some Indian stuff, lamb. Um, I just got all three of them to try it out. And then a chicken pot sticker with some naan that they make here in house. Luckily Sophia's a little full so I get to eat all her tuna. Yeah. All right, let's see how it is. Okay, we'll put some naan. 
Delicious. I'm gonna try the lamb first. Some rice. Basmati rice. So good. I really like Indian food. Chickpea, the chickpea one is really good, and then the other one. They're all really tasty. I like the chicken pot thicker. Mm -hmm. I love it when it's really soft. It's really easy for the wonton to be hard and the base, and it's really good. Tuna. So good. I really like the Aria buffet. I'm gonna try one more time with these crab legs. Like I said, take these out first. Wow, already better. Little guy out. Good signs. When we take this whatever thing out, the meat over here, like you could eat it, put in butter, put some lemon on it. But yeah, just make sure you take it off. Just use this little hinge. Take out this thing, and then they pre-crack it for you right here. So just use that as a guide to crack it. Crack it once like that, and then flip it over. Crack it again. Gently jiggle it out. Hold this slightly. Pray your favorite prayer, and crab will come out. I highly suggest lemon. If you like butter, that's good. Butter and lemon, really good. Yeah. Yay! So I like the Indian food a lot. I got a really small amount of stuff right there. I'm gonna eat this chocolate cake first because it looked really good. And then we really get more dessert. We'll see. How about you? Pasta. Pasta. Cool. Alright, chocolate cake thing. Ooh, soft. Mmm. I think there's raspberry in there. Really good. There's mousse on top. I like it. This is from the pasta station, made to order. It's fettuccine carbonara. So there's and bacon for you know pancetta cheese and sophia smart and added mushrooms how was it oh it's good i'm incredibly full but i do want to try this pasta because it smells so good so i'm gonna take a bite man it's delicious before I would never get pastas at buffet because you know the whole like oh you're gonna have carbs you're gonna be full But if you're craving pasta Get pasta. If you're craving rice, if you're craving bread If you're craving anything that you know people are saying don't get at buffets Just get it because they're not living your life and you're living your life so Eat what you want to eat at buffets and you'll be happy So there's some peach cobbler down there bread pudding up there Really not sure what this was. We thought it was ube, maybe it's not. And I also got some pistachio ice cream and chocolate ice cream. It might be pistachio gelato. I think it was pistachio gelato. Yeah, pistachio gelato. Let's see how it is. I don't know, the chocolate ice cream is just better for some reason. I thought it was just gonna be a chocolate ice cream. Pistachio. Damn. Yeah, this is really good. I'm gonna try them both together now. Mm -hmm. I'm incredibly full, but I know I'm gonna finish this. This is, this is really good. Here's that bread pudding. Let's see how it is. Warm, cinnamon, it's good, but ice cream definitely takes the cake, or ice cream, or dessert, whatever you want to, yeah. 
<laughs> Quick note, I am staying at Park MGM. But yeah, they're all connected, don't have to go outside. And Park MGM is not too crazy. There's honestly, look, not too much going on. This is just Sophia and like a couple other people over there. But yeah, if you're wondering if you have to go outside, you might not want to during the summer. Just talk to some security guards, talk to the people working there. They're gonna help you out. They want you to have a good time because of course they want you to stay here. And yeah, don't be afraid to talk to people. So we just came from the Aria Buffet. Honestly, everything was delicious except for a couple things. Like I said earlier, the butter for the crab legs tasted a little old. So the next time I got crab legs, I just got lemon. It's not a big deal. The meat was pretty good. I thought it was gonna be a little bit better, but I ended up just getting more of the sides, macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes. Those are always really good at buffets. The sushi was very you know, mediocre to me only because in Los Angeles, Eagle Rock specifically, I live near a couple seafood buffets that are really cheap and they spoil us with really good sushi. So comparing it to that, it's like not the best. Dessert was good. The pistachio ice cream in particular, really, really good. I don't know if it's like a little mint what they do, but it just, it tastes really, really good. I like chocolate ice cream. I thought it was the best, but the pistachio was way better. The service was really good. He always brought water whenever we ran out. Whenever my Sprite was empty, he was like more Sprite. He even asked me if I wanted coffee afterwards. I know a lot of people will drink coffee or some hot liquids after buffets, you know, so their stomach won't be so... Bleh, like super full. I don't drink coffee though and I might sleep soon so I just said no. There is a tip I have for you guys if you're trying to go to a buffet and you know get your money's worth I suggest getting a Sprite because it'll really you know make you burp, it'll make you you know not so full and of course I don't think you should be overeating all the time. I overeat, it's not the best thing but if you're at a buffet you might want to you know eat more than you're used to. I'm um, back at the hotel room. I'm gonna you know, do my business and yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll make more videos as soon as I can and I'll see you from me later. Peace out guys. Everything.